Hello, my friends. My name is Ryan Freeman. Welcome to my life in Taiwan. I am a public school teacher, and I like to talk about all sorts of stuff. But I recently had a request from Cooking with Hua down in the comments of my last video. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Uh, to talk about the cost of living as a teacher here in Taiwan. So I think that's a great topic. I think about the cost of living every time I go shopping. I always ask myself, how much would this have cost me in America? That's where I'm from. Uh, versus how much it's costing me here in dependent and my salary. Am I, I mean, am I getting a good deal here in, in Taiwan? Am I living a good life? Am I able to save money? You know, uh, we all ask these questions, and it's always interesting when you do work in a foreign country because you know the cost is different. So I'm going to be comparing to America a little bit. I have some notes. I may refer to it uh, quite a lot, um, just so I'd, I give you guys some precise numbers. But basically, um, the contract I'm on is not going to be the contract I'm on next year. The contracts across the board for public school teaching have recently shifted. This may be a good thing for you. This may be a bad thing for you. I'll tell you, I have not seen every single article in the contract, but two things of note, two things of note. I am currently on a 12 month contract. That means I work 12 months at my school and I get paid 12 months. I also have vacation days that I can use. The new contract is an 11 month contract, which means I know you're saying this isn't cost of living. This is a contract. Well, I mean, how can I talk about the cost of a living without talking about the contract? Um, the the ele we, are, we were sh we are shifting and I think a lot of schools have already done this to an 11 month contract. That means one month I will have no work. I can go travel. I can do whatever I want, although I could stay in and earn side cash. They are going to have other uh, jobs available. Uh, so no need to fret if you really need to make that money. At least my school is going to provide plenty of ways to make cash during that one month. But the positive is the monthly salary has gone up uh, by, I think, I think my, I heard about 3000 NTD per month. So that's like a roughly a hundred us dollars per month across the board. All right. Now, uh, the salary scale depends upon your, your education as well as how many years of public school teaching experience that you can prove to them that you have. I just have some students passing by, uh, very wild students. Um, and uh, so, you know, I, I, I don't know how much money you'll end up making. Now, I'll just give you an idea. You might end up, if you don't have a lot of years of experience and you just have maybe a bachelor's degree uh, or you have like no years of experience and you have a master's degree, you might make 70,000 NTD per month, 70,000 NTD per month. And that comes out to roughly 2,300 US dollars per month, 70,000 NTD. So let's just use that as kind of a as a regular number that you might be making should you come over to work as a public school teacher in Taiwan without a lot of experience with, you know, bachelor's or master's degree. Um, now, cost of living. So in the contract, this, uh, and I think this is standard, they will, at least in my city, but I'm pretty sure it's across the board, they will give you 5,000 NTD and new Taiwanese dollars, so NTD is, is the currency here in Taiwan, they will give you $5,000 on top of your salary to use towards your rent. And so actually, it's not like they're going to just pay your landlord $5,000. They will just add $5,000 onto your check. So that $70,000 will turn into $75,000. Although, do keep in mind, uh, the tax situation here in Taiwan is that generally, as a policy, uh, foreigners will be taxed 18% of their salary uh, for like the first six months that they're in Taiwan and the first six months of the year. It basically works out to where for most of your contract, you are being taxed 18% rather than like 6%, which I think is standard. And the idea is, is that um, 
I think most people get taxed the lower percent and then they have to go through tax season and sometimes they have to pay the government. Your schools will generally, uh, and a lot of companies will generally, not all, I'm not an expert. Remember, please, I haven't been here that long, but this is what how it's been explained to me. And every company is different. Schools are different. Some of them may lie to you about this, but basically they will tax you 18% so that, uh, so that you don't run away before paying the government your tax. But what happens is, is that generally, because you're taxed higher than the normal Taiwanese person, every year your school will file your taxes and they will send you a big chunk of change. Even I even saw this happen to a teacher who had already left Taiwan, but because he had paid taxes, uh, he, he was owed money. And I saw the coordinator in my office working out the details to send him money, deposit money. So you will get a lot of that money back. Okay, so now you know about, about how much you're roughly gonna make. Um, how much is the cost? How much is the cost? Well, um, every city is different uh, in, in terms of rent. Rent prices, just like America, everyone complains about the housing market. It's so expensive to buy a house. It's so expensive to rent. Well, everyone says that here in Taiwan. It's so damn expensive. Now, I live in Taoyuan, and people say Taoyuan is much cheaper than Taipei, so it's a great city to live. But everyone in Taiwan complains about the rent prices going up. And I found, uh, yeah, I mean, prices are, I guess, expensive uh, for Taiwanese. Uh, I mean, they're not, but compared to what you would get in America, in LA, goodness gracious, rent's a deal, okay? So I'll tell you how much I pay. I pay 15,000 NTD per month for my apartment. I have a one bedroom apartment. I have a uh, well, pretty good, good size, not a huge living room. That's also my kitchen. I've got a nice size balcony, got a, a pretty big bathroom by Taiwanese standards and a hallway. So it's, it's, not a, it's not a big luxurious apartment. It is for probably an average single teacher, like a local teacher would say, wow, you've got a hell of a nice apartment. I pay 15,000 NTD. That works out to $489 per month. That includes, that includes all my water. That includes, um, that includes my cable. I got cable TV. I've got premium movie channels like HBO, Star Movies. I got BBC, CNN, uh, TLC. I, I got a lot of channels, local channels and international channels. That includes my Wi-Fi. Uh, so I got, and my wife and my internet's good. So that includes my internet, my cable, my water. I do have to pay for electricity. My electricity uh, recently has come to about 1,000 NTD per month. So that's about 33 US dollars per month that I pay for electricity, which is nothing com probably compared to what I would pay in America. Um, now it may go up in the summer or the winter uh, when you are using the air conditioner or the heater. Um, but recently I've been paying about a thousand NTD per month. So if you take that 15,000 NTD rent, $489 US per month, and you subtract the 5,000 that your school is giving you, I'm actually only paying 10,000 NTD per month, $326 US dollars per month. That includes water, internet, cable, TV, you know, all the furnishings. I didn't buy the bed or the couch and it's fairly comfortable. You know, they do like harder beds. Uh, keep that in mind. Uh, so, I mean, what are you going to find in LA for $326 that in, you, your cable bills and the internet's going to cost you $326, let alone a place to lay your head that is safe. Um, and I've got a fantastic landlady at a, that if I have any problems, She's like a, a second mom who's gonna help me. I mean, you, you really can't complain. Um, now, some of my coworkers, they pay a little less, but their room is like basically a hotel room. They only got one room. And I ask them if they're happy, they're not happy. So I think it's worth just to pay a little extra money. You know, what's the difference between 10,000 NTD and 15,000 NTD? 150 US dollars for a lot more comfort in your life. Pay a little more, but you know, some people like to save more money. Um, so yeah, electricity is the only thing I pay for on top of that. My phone bill, uh, because you do need a phone, you will be 
getting line messages. Line is the app that your coworkers are gonna be contacting you with and, and all of your friends. You will need a phone bill, uh, phone plan. And uh, the phone plan that I have, it's with a company called, I believe, Circles, Circles Life. Uh, I think a lot of foreigners use that. It, it's fairly easy to sign up for. Uh, you get, um, I've had pretty fast internet speeds. I'm not like a heavy user of my phone. I use it basically for Google Maps and social media. Um, I don't really like watch a lot of videos with my phone. I don't really play a lot of games with my phone. So I don't know about you. But I think my phone plan is about 500 NTD per month, which is like 16 US dollars. And I often get discounted because I didn't use that much internet. So if you use less internet, you actually get, uh, you actually have to spend less money. I think there was one month I paid like, like less than $10 US a month for my phone bill. Um, school lunch, school lunch is amazing. So if you work at a public school, and you want the school lunch. At my school, we pay 45 NTD for the school lunch. It's like a little mini buffet. You've, you know, you've got rice, sometimes you have noodles, you've got a meat dish, there's a vegetarian, there's all, usually a vegetarian option and a meat option. You generally have to choose whether you want or not you want to do vegetarian or meat at the beginning of the semester. And it, and there's vegetables and soup, and sometimes they give they throw in yogurt and fruit and milk and stuff like that. Um, that costs 45 NTD per day, which which you you just pay once at the semester, so it's not like you have to carry money with you all the time. That's about a dollar fifty US for lunch, and you can get your fill. And not only can you get your fill, and you know some days are good, some days are great. But a lot of days are so-so, and some days are not good. <laughs> Depends on your taste. It's school lunch. But $1.50 US, 45 NTD. But the cool thing is, if you do like the food, uh, I like it because I, I, it's not bad. Uh, and, and, uh, and, and it's healthy. I get a lot of vegetables. Um, but a cool thing about it is, at a certain time, like if your lunch is at 12 o'clock, then at a certain time, you have to check with your school. At my school, it's 1235. You could go and you could fill up whatever leftover containers you want and take it home. So I, I like I'm taking, I like today's lunch. I'm gonna take it home and cook it up, uh, which is actually gonna taste better because I'm gonna add all sorts of spices and stuff like that that I, I know how to do at home. So that 45 NTD is both my lunch and my dinner today. How much was my breakfast? My breakfast today was about a hundred and a uh, hundred. Okay, so I'll tell you, like a hundred NTD for my breakfast. So like a little more than three dollars. I got this crepe with bacon and cheese in it with a nice teriyaki sauce. I got a, a pork patty with with a scrambled fried egg on top. I think it's a it's like a fried scrambled egg on top with some lettuce, hamburger. You know, nice. Uh, breakfast hamburger for for pretty damn cheap, you know, 100 NTD, a little more over $3. So food is cheap. Fried rice. How much is fried rice? If you get fried rice from a, from a little place near my house, it could be as low as 70 NTD to 90 NTD, depending upon which restaurant I go to. So that's like 2 to $3 U.S., a bus ride uh, across town, doesn't ma really matter how far across town I'm going, costs 18 NTD, that's 59 cents. A taxi during a fairly busy hour across town, like actually in the taxi for a little bit, might cost me 500 NTD, that's like $16.30 US. I mean, and I mean, if it's like after a certain time, like maybe it's New Year's Eve and there's a lot of people requesting Uber rides, you know, or uh, I'm t I guess I'm talking about Uber and taxi synonymously. Uh, the prices generally seem to me very similar. I think sometimes the taxi's cheaper, sometimes the Uber's cheap, uh, but Uber is very easy to use here, as well as Uber Eats. I get Uber Eats. Um, oh, what I was gonna say is that sometimes taxi and Uber prices can be pretty high during certain peak hours. Um, so just be careful of that. But the buses run pretty late and are very cheap. 
Uh, but for transportation, honestly, I pay nothing most days because there is an amazing public bicycle system called U-Bike. So with U-Bike, you just scan your, your like, it's like an easy pass or easy card, they call it. You won't be able to get your easy card until I think you get a phone number or a bank account. So your school will help you get all of that. So you won't be able to use it like your first week or so, but like your second or third week, you'll be able to use, use it and register on the U-Bike uh, website. And then you'll be able to use a U-Bike and they have U-Bike stations all over. Um, some teachers are afraid to use them. I think it's amazing. It's fun. It's fast and it's convenient. I don't have to worry about upkeeping my bicycle. I have so many bicycle options. I just jump on one of these things, got a basket, throw my bag in. I ride wherever I wanna go. My city's really not that big, so I can use it to go just about anywhere. And it's free for the first hour. Uh, so there's no bicycle rides in Taoyuan that, take, that takes me more than an hour. I park it, go to the market, come back, get another one. As long as, as long as I park it, 15 minutes later, I can use another one for free. So I pay almost nothing for transportation. My food costs very low. I do order Uber Eats sometimes, doing it a little more recently, treating myself well. That might cost me 200 NTD. So, you know, what is that? About six to $7, I might spend a little bit more. Depends what I wanna eat. Um, but, uh, you know, there's no tipping <laughs> here compared to America. Uh, not generally, I have tipped here before, but uh, generally no. Uh, if I wanna take a high-speed rail train, this is a train that goes extremely fast from my city of Taoyuan, I wanna go all the way to Kaohsiung, which is all the way at the bottom, so pretty much from the tippy top, not all the way to Taipei, but pretty close to Taipei, all the way down to Kaohsiung, I mean, going across the entire island really, really fast, a bullet train, I mean, it will cost me Roughly about 1,330 NTD, which is about 43 US dollars. I could probably get that cheaper if I ordered online ahead of time. If you're a student, there's, there's different you know, ways of calculating the fare. Um, I could pay a lot less to get across the island and just go a little slower. Local trains, actually I don't even look at the price. Because the, because the cost of the local trains and the buses are so cheap, I don't even look. I just scan my easy card. Uh, a bottle of Coca-Cola, like your normal 20 ounce bottle of Coca-Cola will cost 35 NTD, so a little more than one US, US dollar, but you can get a massive bottle of Coca-Cola, one for the whole family for 50 NTD, just a little bit more, so less than $2. Uh, a carton of milk will cost you, of good milk, it says high quality milk, will cost you 90 NTD, so about $3, a little less. Uh, Chocolate is not that cheap, but it's not that expensive. You know, it might be two US dollars for a bar. Um, food is cheap, transportation is cheap, rent is treat cheap, utilities are cheap. Um, those are the main things. Beers uh, it might cost you 35 NTD for a, a Taiwan beer, which is a little over a dollar, like I'm talking about at the liquor store. Um, but you know, if you're going, I, I don't really go clubbing, so I, I can't tell you about those types of prices. So I'm just giving you guys a, a basic rundown of some of the general costs. Um, you do not make a lot of money as, as a public school teacher in Taiwan, but it's an awesome job. I've got free time to read books, make videos like this. Uh, I do enjoy teaching my classes actually. And it affords me a life that is very convenient. You know, another thing is, cost of living, it's, it's cheap. I'm saving money every month. I mean, I'm, my bank account's going up, 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 up. <laughs> it's not going up that fast because my salary's not that high, but it's going up, 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 up. My, uh, my biggest expense is, besides my rent, is I do jujitsu. I pay 3,500 NTD per month, which is 115 US dollars per month. Uh, but I get excellent instruction and it is something I value very much, so something worth it to me. Um, and it's cheaper than most gyms in America. Um, yeah, so you don't come to Taiwan to get rich, but uh, if, if it sounds intriguing to you, it's not a bad deal 
Okay, if you have any questions, any requests, put it down in the comments. Thank you for watching this. Hope I didn't bore you with numbers. My name is Ryan Freeman. Bye-bye.